Adama Sidibe saved the Saints from relegation. Therefore, a one-word description of Adama Sidibe's 2023-2024 season is Savior. Assalamu alaikum boke. You welcome back to the Jolla Football Bantaba YouTube channel, the home of Gambian football. I am Chama, and this is the review of Adama Sidibe in 2023-2024. 2024 season guys i hope you are enjoying our review section please if you do make sure you subscribe to the yellow football banter by youtube channel there will be more coming and if you enjoy the series guys make sure you smash that like button we have already covered captain omar Koli and our star boy yanko Minte in the review section we our target is to review as many gambian players in 2023 2024 season and this is the third episode of the series and we will cover adama cdb mbappe so without wasting much of your time, guys, let's get into the review section. But before I start talking about his 2023-2024 season, I would like to mention a few things about him, you know, growing up and then coming up to, to be what he is. Because earlier in the season, some St. Johnston fans um, already contacted me to help them with their um, with their piece on Adam Asidibe, which they wanted to cover in their magazine. They have already, the Saints or the St. Johnston fans have already fallen in love with Adam Asidibe, with the impact he has at their club. So they wanted to feature him in their magazine, so they approached us to, to find out more about him. Of course, I did not know much about Adam Asidibe, so I have to ask those people who know him better. So then I contacted um, his former coaches with the help of my, my boss, Coach Koche did the contact because, you know, um, he is, of course, one of the most important people when it comes to the Manjai Sports Committee. And as uh, Marimo Football Club happens to, you know, um, you know, like Marimo Football Club was formed from Manjai. Manjai. So... Uh, Che contacted their manager, that is Mama, who I know very well um, since my time in, in the Gambia. So Mama told us a little bit about Adam Asidi. He told us a lot about Adam Asidi, actually. Then, you know, I relayed that information. So I would like to share if one, or three, one or two points about that. Then before we will get into the, the review section. When uh, Che approached Mama, uh, asking him about Adam Asidi, um, that's where we find, found out that, oh, his nickname was actually Mbappe. They used to call him Mbappe. He said he was a very, very cyber, you know. Um, um, he was very serious about his game. Very serious. Always never late on training. He's always on time. Mama went on to describe him as the most disciplined player that he has over, oh, he has ever managed in his career. Mama has managed for the last 15 years. Um, since I was playing in the Gambia, Mama was managing. I can remember very well. We used to train in the same pitch. He was uh, managing the Navetan team, um, Marimo, before they were a, a league team. He was managing them as a Navetan team. Mama was there. So for Mama to, to, to turn and say, Adama Sidibe is the most disciplined player that he ever coached in his career, that is a massive statement for somebody who has managed tons of Gambian talents. So that is Adama Sidibe for you. And a very, you know, shy boy, I, ha, ha, like Mama called him. And two things he described him was he is a lion and a bulldozer. I think um, watching him over the last couple of days or the last couple of weeks playing for the Gambia and people seeing him firsthand, I think you can relate to what Mama meant. He's a bulldozer and he's a lion because he fights for every single thing. Yeah, he made his Gambia debut, of course, scored on his debut. And then we played against Gabon. He started this, that, that game as well, which, you know, he impressed as well. So that is uh, that is what Mama said about Adam Asidbe now. Let's get into the um to his review section. And by the way, guys, uh, we are supposed to have him on the Jolla Football Bantaba uh, Gambia Football Show, like to get the you know um to get it from the from the sources mouth to tell for him to tell us about himself because at the Ga in the Gambia we don't know much about Adam Asidbe. He didn't spend a lot of time playing in the leagues. So not many know about him. So he just spent a couple of years there, I, I, I believe. So I even asked Space, and Space was not aware of, of, of him. He knew him, but he was not aware of his playing time in the Gambia. And we know how Space follows Gambian football. So he will be coming to the Gambia football show, and then he will learn more about Adam Asidibe. So watch out for that one. Um, uh, we are already in contact about that, so we will set a date on that one. And then once, once we do, guys, we, you, you guys, we, we will let you know. So let's look at his season in 2023, 2024. Um, um, he played in, 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 in he played over 
40 games in, the, in, in over the course of the season, about 44 games he played. He played about 29 games for uh, Warrington Raylands. That was the seventh year of English football. Then he moved, he made that leap to the Scottish League from the seventh year of English football and then made the leap to the Scottish League and played for St. Johnston. And with, with St. Johnston, he played 15 games over the course of the season. So in total, he played 44 games for his two clubs over the course of 2023-2024 season. At Warrington, he was absolutely clean it. He scored 16 goals. Clubs were coming left, right, and center to go to, to, to sign him. Um, and then he ended up at, at, at St. Johnston. At St. Johnston, he scored five goals in his 15 games. So in total, in 2023, 2024 season, he scored 21 goals. Of the 16 goals he scored for for Warrington Raylands, 13 of those goals were in the league. So in in um in a nutshell, he scored 18 league goals in total, and then the, the other goals were scored in the FA Cup and other other competitions that he that he played. Um, his assist count, I don't know because I, I don't have any records of his assist count. In, in in terms of competitions, of course, he played in the North Premier League, that is the seventh year of the English League, the Premier League division, and then from there he played in the Scottish League with with Saint Justin. He also played in the FA, participated for um Warrington Raylands in the FA Cup or uh, in, in 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 the English FA Cup, winning the goal of the season for St. Johnston. <laughs> I'm sure everyone can remember that goal he scored against De Dundee, that bicycle kick that he scored. His first goal, by the way, was uh, for, 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 for St. Johnston was that goal, which was absolutely insane. Exceptional goal. And then, you know, his celebration and all what not making the uh, Saints faithful go wild. So, yeah, that was his, he, him in terms of in basically uh, in 2023 2024 season uh, actually he, he joined Warrington Ray Rams in 23 2024 season um uh, he was playing for a club called uh, Chidul Hit Nomads in England, in the England Lower Leagues. And then in the summer of 2023, he joined Warrington Greylands. And then, he, you know, he got the ball rolling immediately at Warrington Greylands and becoming their, their key player, becoming a key player in that club. Um, you know, double acting with another Gambian brother who was also in exceptional form during that during during the course of the season, Momodu Ture. They were playing at Warrington Greylands. And I want to know more about Momodu Ture. Um, he like he is a Welsh international. Uh, he played for Wales at lower 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 leagues, but he was born in the Gambia, Seracunda. So he double acted. They were playing up top with him and Adama Sidibe. Uh, Momo Ture scored 18 goals in the end of this by the end of the season and created 12 assists for for his club, Warrington Raiders. Um, like when Adama left, he was the one who you know they re they relied on heavily. Uh, he ended the season with 30 goal involvement for Warrington Raylands. Um, so I I, I want to ask Adama about 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 him and their partnership in in Warrington Raylands. That is definitely something I will I will ask Adama Sidibe. Um, yeah, and then if you look at his time at at at, at Saint Johnston, Adama Sidibe, he ended the season as their second leading goal scorer. Like he joined the season, he joined the team in the second half of the season. And then he ended the season as their second leading goal scorer. Only one player scored more than him, and he only scored two goals more. Um, one of the attacking players, he scored seven goals, and Adam Asidibe scored five goals. And the five goals were all important goals, especially the final three goals that he scored, which were the final three games of the season. Um, and the impact that they had was absolutely insane. Um, yeah, so... He also, if you look at his numbers in terms of data statistics, uh, he ended the season with XG of 5.5, which was the highest for the club. Um, despite coming in the mid season, he ended the season uh, high on the XG and X, XG counts. He also took more shots than any player for for St. Johnston over the course of the season. You are talking about a team that he joined just for the second half of the season. But he ended the season as the one with the most number of shots in the, in, in the team. Um, he also uh, averaged the highest number of shots on target per 90 minutes for the club. Um, yeah, missed a, miss a big, few big chances. He missed the, the most big chances for the club, by the way. Which, yes, sometimes it can be critical to say, okay, this player missed big chances. But for me, for me, the way I look at it usually is how did he get the big chance? That is the first thing I ask. He has to put himself in a position to get a big chance. And if a striker is getting chances, the goals will come. 
And uh, in the end, he was scoring the goals, and those goals were the ones that kept them in the league. So for him to to, uh, to to have missed the most big chances for the club, I think it's a good thing. Sometimes players miss chances. Sometimes they go and make an exceptional save. Um, so you cannot do much about that. But the fact that he is he keeps getting into that position where he can score, we can have a big chance. That is a big credit to the player himself. So yeah, uh, that is how he ended the, the the season with them. And then by the end of the season, he was the one who was saving the Saints to avoid that relegation. Um, yeah. And that is that was his season in 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 in, in a nutshell. Um, the, the week he scored against 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 Dundee that bicycle kick, he also made it to the Scottish team of the season, like team of the week, the Scottish League team of the week, where you have you know top clubs like Celtic Rangers, their players, and he fa he found himself in the in the team of the team of the week. Uh, the even the Rayland manager was surprised by the fact that he was still there, for, even though he only spent there six months. He was surprised that um, teams were not coming calling earlier than, than than he expected because he was having a massive impact. But his partnership with Momo Dupture. Who, like I say, he's a um, Welsh international. He has already represented Wales at under 21 and under 19 level. But he's Gambian born. Was an interesting one. They were very close. They, you know, um, even when uh, Adam Asidibe signed for St. Johnston, Momodu Ture, who I also follow on Twitter, he, you know, he tw retweeted that and he was so happy for, for Adam Asidibe. Momodu Ture himself has made a move recently to call the FC um, in the English lower leagues after scoring, like I say, 30 goal involvement over the course of the season. Um, he is also an exciting player to see a play like those numbers, uh, a player producing those numbers, regardless of the level that you are doing it um it's impressive 30 goal involvement in 40 games i'm i'm really excited to hear what adam asideba has to say about about Muru Ture, um uh, of, of like their partnership and all all all, all what not guys yeah that was the the adam asideba you know season review in in in, in brief um it's not a it's not a very long one but I think it's an exciting one. And um, we saw what he did in the national team scene as well. He came at the end of the season, of course. He made his first uh, appearance for the Gambia. He made his debut for the Gambia against Cecil's. Came off the bench and then scored that wonderful header, that looping header that he scored. And then against uh, Gabon, the coach trusted him to start him against Gabon. And, you know, he lead the line very well. Unfortunately, there was not a lot of chances for him. But I think he lead the line very well. Fought hard for the team, you know, cover a lot of ground during that game. And now he's already capped a couple of times the final thing i would like to mention about him is like there's a lot of clubs you know uh considering him right now there's a lot of clubs in the championship i had burnley St. swansea derby county and many other clubs in the english championship are actually chasing him and they're trying to like like at that level they are trying to pay a lot of money for for adam Asidibe. um i even had that swansea have already booked i think gumford have posted that one um swansea have have already you know um, uh, made a 500,000 pounds bid for Adam Asilbe. I'm, I'm not sure how, how accurate the, the reports are. I've seen those reports, but also I've seen somewhere they say that um, there is no, like, no bid has been made yet about for him. So I don't know what is true about that. So, but we will wait and, and see that those things are things that the agent and all the other, you know, the other parties will have to deal with and stuff like that. But just speaking of his season, I think it was an exceptional one. And even Senegal, um, uh, footy insider they also reported that Senegal Alusis contacted his agent already to to convince him to come and play for, for Senegal but yeah they're not getting this one you can take uh, Nicholas Jackson but this one you are not getting him Adam Asidibe is our own he is our own our Mbappe and you can't get this one you can't get this one you can't get this Green is more than you need to do so. The first thing I would add is CDB. But anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed that. If you do, please make sure you smash the like button and don't forget to subscribe to the Jello Football Banter by YouTube channel. And also comment, guys. Let us know who you want us to bring in the series. In, in this series next, who, which, which player would you like to, uh, which player would you like us to review next? We are trying to review as many as possible. We have a long summer, so. At least we will try to review a couple of players every week and then see where we end up by the end of by the end of the summer. But we will try our best. So let us know who you think, who you want to see next. And guys, until I come your way again, goodbye, guys. <laughs>